December 2004 titled Stop the Silence, promoting an anti-homosexual agenda. Mm -hmm. yes. And it says here, quoting from her, on speculating about her father's viewpoint on marriage equality, let us not forget one of Reverend Bernice King's uh, moments statement when she stated that I know in my sanctified soul that Dr. King did not take a bullet for same-sex marriage. Right. 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 They're, trying to, they're coming against her yes. mm -hmm. and uh, they're trying to uh, bring all the forces of evil against her for her statement. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, from what I understand, that statement was made in 2004. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope she still holds on. Amen. Amen. Yes. And uh, if she does, uh, 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 Reverend Bernice King, uh, True Light supports you in that Amen. 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 We don't agree with you on every point of doctrine, but on that point, we do agree with Amen. you Amen. and support you. Yes. Yes. God did not make homosexual and lesbians. Yes. I've said that often, and I'll keep saying it. Since nobody else will, I'll That's keep right. saying it. That's right. You treat a behavioral problem, amen, by correction yeah. and guidance. Yeah. Yeah. If the person has a mind to be corrected and guided. Amen. Yeah. An alcoholic is an alcoholic because he wants to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Person smoke cigarettes because they want to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. I found out that uh, the president of the United States smokes cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, that, that just lowers, again, my esteem that I have for him. Yeah. Any person, out of all the habits in the world, I want y'all to think for a moment. Bring it out. Y'all yeah. just reflect for a moment. Yeah. All the habits in the world, Teach. a person will take a cigarette, hmm. puff some smoke into his lungs, and then blow it out. Mm -hmm. Now, they say that's a habit that's hard to break. Where's the fascination? I mean, at least when you drink a bottle of liquor, you can get high. But you smoke a cigarette, and so you watch the smoke for a second or two. What is the fascination? I never could figure that out. Amen. Used to smoke cigars before I was saved. Yes. Well, when I got saved, I took that cigar and put it out. I haven't missed it since. Amen. Not thinking about it. Think about how foolish I was. Yes, yes. Pops and smoke into my lungs and yes. go out and watch it. Yes. That is the now that is a habit where Free a person that you talk about mental health. Yes, right. That's a person who really needs mental health. Yes. And I hope all you cigarette smokers listen to me about where you too. I know we ain't got nobody that foolish in here. How much how much a cotton cost? Uh, 50. A carton? 42. 50. Yeah, a pack is seven. 35 dollars. Uh, for a carton of smoke that you puff in and blow out. Amen. Tell me you ain't foolish. Amen. Yes. Tell me you don't need urgent help. Tell me there's something wrong when you can't put a habit like that. I can see a person fighting with heroin. Yeah. Fighting with cocaine. Yeah. Fighting with uh 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 Johnny Walker. Yes. I can see that. Yes. But I can't see nobody fighting about a habit when you take a puff and blow it out. And you talking about you got a habit that costs $35, what, a week or two? If you if you, if you you got a habit that bad, $35 a week, how much is that a month? That's, uh, $140. $140 a month. Mm -hmm. That's an electric bill. Amen. 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 Thank you. God, 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 Break it out. Work all, all month for $100. That's right. Something wrong. Preach profit. Because people are sick in their mentality That's right. and don't know where to go to find help. Mm -hmm. God has given us instruction in the Bible. Yes. And if we love God, we love His Word. Amen. His Word will not shame. This is not to offend nobody. It's to Preach, jump prophet. Somebody. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The Word comes to guide you yes. in a way God wants you to go Hallelujah. so that you can find help for your soul. Yes. Yes. Each person who's born of God Amen. is created in His image and likeness, Hallelujah. and you have a soul. Yes. Yes. Now, what you do with that soul that God put in you. Mm -hmm. 
That's up to you. Amen. I said before, God can't make you follow him. He can't make you love him. He can make you worship him. Amen. But it should be there. Amen. And if you don't know uh, uh, how to bring it out, mm -hmm. then you've got to find a source or a place that gives you the ability to express yourself yes, yes. in God. Yes. And thereby correct all the weaknesses that you have in this life journey. Oh, yes. And this journey is full of weaknesses. Yes. Oh, yes. But you don't have to be weak. Yes. You have to fight yes. Jesus. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not something, but all things. Let me get to the text. John 14, chapter, pick up. Verse 20. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Uh -huh. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he is, he is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, Lord. and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. I will love him, and make myself known to him. But you've got to love him back. Amen. Church, again, this is not a one-way street. Hallelujah. These right. hypocrite preachers are teaching this madness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that if I repeat Romans 10 and 10, I'm saved and I'm always saved. I don't have to love God. I ain't got to love nobody but, but myself. That's a lie from the pits. Hallelujah. You have to love God. Now, how can you love God? The only way you can love God is to love His Word. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hallelujah. you got to love the Word of God in order yes. to love God. But if you don't know how to love the Word of God, you got to find a place where the Word of God is taught, where yes. you can love the Word. Preach you got to learn how to identify with the Word. Yes. When you identify with the Word of God, this transforms something inside of you and your soul and causes you to think different, act different, and be different. If you're not acting different, you're not being different. Yeah. And if you're not different, you're not changed. I think I brought it out last week. Amen. You're not converted. A person who is saved has to be converted. You've got yeah. to be changed yeah. in your spiritual mind, and then it reflects outwardly. Yeah. So oh, therefore, man. when I get the express knowledge of nicotine and alcohol and all those forbidden things, all those euphorias yeah. that are created for a stimulation that's not real, yeah. but artificial, yeah. once I know that, then I can address my mental self to that, and I don't have to do that no more. Each individual must make a conscious choice Amen. whether or not we're going to serve God or we're going to partly serve Him. Amen. You can't, you know, the one thing that you have to understand God will not accept part time worship. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry to tell you that. Amen. But I have to tell you that because Amen. the hypocrite preacher is telling you otherwise. Yes. God requires a commitment of you, yes, Lord. your whole complete body. Amen. I believe the Bible says, Love the, thy Lord. In your heart, mind, and soul. Yeah. So you've got to give everything of your physical and spiritual component in order to be acceptable unto God. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's the only thing God will require. Yeah. This is why there are certain tests and trials we go through is to prove whether or not you love Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It's to prove whether or not you love yourself. Yeah. If you love yourself, you don't want to see yourself be destroyed. Yeah. If you love yourself, you don't want to see yourself go to hell. Yeah. Oh, if you love yourself, you don't love God first. Amen. Make up your mind that you're going to serve Him. Amen. Let me connect this. Jeremiah. 8 chapter, you're right in verse 22. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Gilead is a place that the Hebrews went to for, really it was kind of a place for uh, a protection place. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was a place that they could go to and kind of hide themselves from all of their problems that they were going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gilead was a, a mountain. You know, mountain represents strength. So Mount right, right. Gilead was a place of strength. Mm -hmm. Once you could get to Mount Gilead, amen, then you could you could have a a, a, a a sense of strength and a sense of well-being yes. and you wouldn't have to worry about your immediate problems mm -hmm. because I've made it to a place where my problems now are Hallelujah. Uh, they put on hold for a moment. Amen. They ain't gone, but they, yes. they kind of put on hold for a moment too. Now, now, God said in His Word 
Uh, read verse 22 again. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician? 